Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Drop Man. Please contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or email. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to send me fan mail, the information is in the video above. Hey everybody, the Adventures of Oklahoma Grunt Man merch is now available. Contact any of the forums below. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grunt Man. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Uh, today's video is going to be mo mostly about uh, cooking the barbacoa and I'm going to bring you all the way along from this morning putting it all together in the crock pot in the slow cooker through the cooking time all day all the way up till serving it tonight so I hope you enjoy that video also tomorrow I think I'm going to try something different again uh, my friend Tressie from the farmers market gave me some plantains last night and I've never had fried plantains so I'm gonna fry up a couple of them and give that a sample and I'll bring you along for that also uh, that's not gonna be a very long video because it don't take long to fry up a plantain but uh, we're gonna give it a try tomorrow once and see what that's all about and I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video today uh, help me out by like share subscribe give me all the comments you can uh, if there's a suggestion you have I've gotten several already on cooking some foods that are different and out of the ordinary uh, that I've never had uh, I'm always interested in stuff like that so if you guys want to shoot me some comments and uh, suggest some stuff and if it's not really out of the ordinary I'll give it a try uh, you know as long as it's not a thousand dollar meal <laughs> but uh, yeah if you guys have any suggestions or ideas comment below uh, and if you guys like these videos uh, comment that also uh, I won't do them all the time this way but if I can do a couple a month or one a month it would be kind of neat to do uh, and as soon as the weather starts getting nicer there's going to be a lot of outdoor cooking with uh, the fire pit and uh, the Dutch oven and uh, my tripod thing that I got I, I want to try a lot of different stuff so yeah as soon as the weather cools off where we can be out there that's what I'm I'm going to be doing a lot of that because I really enjoy cooking over the open fire uh, but anyway I'm going to get off here I just wanted to say thank you again for everything that you do show you what's happening today uh, got to go up to the post office here in a little bit and mail a letter and check the P.O. box but I probably won't record that today because this is mostly about the the cooking video uh, if there's anything in the P.O. box I'll re record that when I get back home but anyway God bless you guys I love you and we'll talk to you later God bless hey everybody this morning we're going to get started on the barbaco barbacoa uh, that I was telling you guys I was going to make today. So we're going to get right into it here. I'll go through the ingredients as I put it together. Uh, I'm here by myself videoing so bear with me on this. But uh, I've got my cheek meat here. Uh, I've got some fresh garlic that I'll put in with it uh, I have an onion it don't really call for this but I'm gonna throw it in because I had it in the fridge I got my uh, a couple of bay leaves my cumin 
salt and pepper and just a few drops of liquid smoke uh, that's what the recipe called for that I seen and uh, we're gonna get this started so uh, I got my crock pot over here getting warmed up it's on low it'll cook for 12 hours on low so we're gonna get started right here with it I'm gonna open up the, the cheek meat and it's it's a very bloody meat or protein whatever you want to call it uh, it's, don't hurt you uh, it's not, not going to hurt a thing it's, I'm just going to take it out of the package here and take a couple of paper towels and just dab it off a little bit and the recipe that I seen said to uh, don't cut it all out because a lot of the flavor is in here but just trim off some of this excess fat but you don't want to take it all off because that's where a lot of the flavor comes from. So I'm just going to get rid of a little bit of it here. And looks like I need to sharpen my knife. Some of this harder stuff I'm going to get rid of. And But this is, if you don't know what it is, it's it's just the beef from the cheek of the cow. Uh, it's not any different than of the beef from any other part of the, the steer, other than it's uh, probably not as tender, and that's why we're going to cook it up slow in the crock pot and it's gonna you don't need a lot of liquid to put with it because it'll create its own juices so with that we're gonna get it started here uh, I'm gonna get it put in the crock pot and then we'll add the spices so bear with me here a little bit In the crock pot, I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna cut this onion up because that way I can take it out when it gets done, and it's just gonna add some flavor to it. I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, the cumin, I'm just gonna. It don't take much cumin, it's because it's got a lot of flavor in it, but I'm just going to sprinkle some on the top here. Like so. I'm going to throw in a couple bay leaves in the crock pot. And then I'm going to put a little, little black pepper on it. And just a little salt. I don't, I don't usually use a lot of salt anyway. But I'm going to put just a little bit on there. It just helps the, the meat get tenderized a little bit. And the recipe I have here that I looked at 
it takes just a less than a quarter cup just a couple ounces of water and they put just a a drop or two of liquid smoke in it it don't take much because liquid smoke is pretty strong and they said uh, they did it because it just brings out the flavor of the of the the meat so I'm gonna put this in the crock pot and I'm gonna just take this liquid smoke water and brush it over the top uh, you don't have to worry about the bottom because the flavors are all gonna go to the bottom of the of the crock pot anyway so we're just gonna brush this on there and then I'll just take the rest and and dump over and let it soak into that meat and then I'm gonna get my garlic ready to go in there I got uh, three I got six cloves that I'm gonna use and if you want an easy way to peel garlic Take a knife and peel that garlic open. Your hands will smell like garlic a little bit, but you got a clove of garlic. So I'm going to get this garlic put in there. Your hands will smell like garlic a little bit, but that's not not that bad. But I I love garlic. I cook a lot with it. And Say this is a fairly simple recipe and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, if you've never had it it might be worth your time to give it a try uh, I've never had it my friend in Eltis Missouri Dahlia she suggested this for me and I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try. So that's what we're doing here. And here again on the garlic, you can use as much or as little as you want. Or uh, I just like garlic, so I went with six cloves of fresh garlic. Uh, I imagine if you wanted to, you could use granulated garlic or garlic salt or whatever uh, I just stay away from the salts and real garlic is not that expensive so that's what I went with but that's pretty much it uh, and then when it gets done well I'll bring you along throughout the day and I'll show you the progress that it has while it's cooking but I got uh, my crock pot set on low. And I'm gonna set the timer for 12 hours. And then I'm just gonna come back and check on it throughout the day. Uh, yeah, I'm just setting the timer for 12 hours. I'm sure the house is going to be smelling wonderful by the end of the day. 
but yeah, throughout the day, I'll show you what it's looking like and uh, the progress. I'll show you here in an hour or two and show you what's happening with it. And then uh, later on today, I'll have to cut up my my uh, garnish that I'm going to use with it because you eat it with uh, wine. You can eat lime and diced onion. I got an onion here I'll dice up and cilantro uh, and then I of course I got my flour tortillas and there again that's whatever you prefer if, if you prefer corn tortillas it's strictly up to you but anyway we're gonna bring you through the day with updates and I hope you're enjoying this video uh, if you have any suggestions on different foods that I've never had or you would want me to try on video, put them in the comments. Uh, and we're going to try and do some of this maybe once or twice a month. And, uh, and like I said, this is about a three and a half pound piece of meat. It only cost me, I think it was a little over $9 if I remember right. Eight dollars and forty-seven cents. So, if you want to make a, a inexpensive meal for your family, I mean, it, you have to buy an onion, and most of the stuff you probably have in your pantry already. Uh, cilantro, flour tortillas, or corn tortillas, and a few spices, and you you got dinner for your family. So. If you're on a tight budget, definitely look into this. Walmart had, they had actually a lot of this cheek meat and I was surprised. And according to the recipes, uh, you can't even use chuck roast, but this is more of the traditional. And if you got goat meat or lamb, you can use either one of them too, it said. So, or you can even use pork, I guess. If there's recipes out there for pretty much anything, but this is the traditional meat used that I seen uh, and that's what I went with so it, it's going to be very greasy so uh, Delia said make sure you drain the grease off when you're done well and yeah I, I will definitely do that but it says you can make a, a, a sauce out of the, the drippings that I'm done I don't know if I'll do that but I'll definitely drain all the, the grease and everything out of it and you just take it out and shred it up like shredded pork, shredded beef. Uh, I'm sure after slow cooking for 12 hours it's going to shred right apart. So we'll, like I say, we'll take you along throughout the day. Love you guys. God bless you. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoy this video, and like I say, if you have any suggestions or anything, leave it in the comments, and yeah, we'll see what we can do to try out whatever you're interested in. So with that, we're going to let you go and give you the updates throughout the day, and we'll talk to you later. God bless you. Hey everybody, this is after only about an hour and a half in the slow cooker. Uh, the house is smelling good already. But I just wanted to give you a quick update here. Uh, starting to brown up pretty nice already. The juices are starting to come out. Uh, wish we had uh, smell of vision because it smells really nice. So we'll check back with you later. Talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, we're four hours into the cooking of the 12. The house smells amazing. The meat is looking really good. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. Yeah, it's cooking along real good. I think it's going to be very delicious. I just broke the onion up a little bit and spread it out. Uh, yeah, it smells very, very good. So, just a quick update, and we'll talk to you in a few hours. 
Hey everybody, we're at the eight hour mark now. It's got four hours to cook yet. It smells delicious. It's already starting to get a little tender. So yeah, we're just gonna let it cook. It's got four hours to go. Uh, just wanted to give you this little update. I wish you could be here to smell it because it smells awesome. We'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, we're going to get the onion diced up and the cilantro ready for the barbacoa this evening. Uh, I just want to get it all diced up and ready to go. I'll put it in, in the bowl and seal it up. get the onion peeled here I particularly don't like big chunks of onion, so I'm going to dice it up as fine as I can. Uh, I like onion flavor, but I'm not a big fan of the texture of an onion. So I'm going to dice it up as small as I can get it and yeah this onion's got some potency to it but I hope you guys are having a blessed day uh, it's really pretty nice out here yet today I think it's supposed to be in the upper 80s yet today and then it's supposed to start warming up again but I haven't seen any of the triple digit stuff in the forecast so that's a good thing but it is supposed to be up in the upper 90s so uh, yeah we're not out of summer yet by any means but, uh, yeah, I hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, keep everybody in eastern Tennessee in your prayers. It sounded like uh, they're going through some severe weather this afternoon and this evening. Uh, Tennessee shy lady sent me a message. Said that she was in her storm shelter. Uh, so, yeah, keep her in your prayers and anybody else that's affected by the storms uh, we never like to never like to see anybody go through the tragedy of severe weather uh, unfortunately it happens all the time but yeah just keep everybody in your prayers uh, I haven't haven't heard much more about it other than what uh, she said, I haven't had a chance to watch any weather. But yeah, just, just keep everybody in Tennessee and uh, anywhere that's affected by the severe weather in your prayers. But uh, yeah, this, this onion's making me cry. And it's a potent one, so it's gonna have some good flavor.
And like I said earlier, if anybody has any suggestions for different foods that you'd like me to try, uh, leave a comment. Uh, I kind of enjoy doing this. And it's stuff that I've never had before, or even if I have had it before, if it's something that's kind of unusual and you'd like to see me try it, uh, yeah, shoot me a comment and we'll see what we can do because it's kind of fun trying some of this stuff that I would normally not try. Uh, I, I don't do exotic foods very often, but if there's something you want me to try, I'll, I'll give it a try as long as it's within reason. Uh, there are certain seafoods that I will not eat. I will not eat octopus and I will not eat squid. Uh, I tried lobster for the first time. I really enjoyed that. But I'm not a real big seafood person. I like fresh fish and a few store-bought fish. Uh, I love fresh crappie. That's my favorite. But yeah, this onion's a, a stout one. But... We're about done with it, and then I'll get the cilantro cut up, and I'm going to bring some of my salsa along. We're going to go over to Tristan's because there's more than enough here for just me. So I told Tristan, tell your family that I'll bring dinner over. And we always enjoy talking to Chris and Don. They're excellent, excellent people. They're more like family than they are friends. And I gotta go out and check the okra yet today. I didn't water this morning because there was still plenty of moisture in the ground but I'll probably have to water this evening unless we get another shot of rain but this is the last of the onion right here and then the onion will be diced up got a pretty good bowl of onion there. I'll get it sealed up. We'll uh, move on to the cilantro. And we'll talk to you in a little bit when I get the cilantro going. Hey everybody, I got the cilantro all chopped up and in a bowl. I didn't video it, but uh, yeah, I got it ready to go, so I'm just going to stick it in the refrigerator until we head over and have dinner tonight. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Okay, we're six hours into the cooking process. It looks really, really good. The house smells awesome. So, yeah, we're just going to let her cook away here, and we'll uh, keep updating you as, as it cooks. Talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, we're down to a little over two and a half hours to go. Uh, it's smelling awesome. It looks really good. Uh, yeah, in a couple hours we'll uh, 
we'll take it out and put it on the cutting board and then I'll shred it up and then I'll get rid of all the grease and that out of there and then we'll put it back in the crock pot to bring it over to Chris and Dawn's house, Tristan's and then we'll eat dinner over there tonight so be one more video clip of me taking it out and then we'll be heading over for dinner and then we'll finish up the video there hey everybody uh all 12 hours is done i'm gonna take it out of here now and shred it up and we'll get it ready to serve for dinner tonight it smells i wish you guys could be here to smell this because it smells pretty good uh, yeah everything's all cooked up in there but we're gonna see how this shreds up it's very tender <laughs> That is very, very tender. Smells pretty good, don't it, Tristan? Oh yeah, that smells amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying this last part of the video series here. Uh, Keith and I have put a lot of work in it and thought into the videos. It's been a three-part series, and tonight we get to enjoy the final product. So we'll update you when we head over to my house. Hey everybody, we're over here at uh, Tristan's house. We got uh, the meat all shredded up and I just got it on keep warm for right now. And we got some of my homemade salsa, some limes, uh, some tortilla chips, flour tortillas, the cilantro that I cut up and the onions. So yeah, we're gonna be eating dinner here quick and. We'll show you that too. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, yeah, if we had smell-o-vision here, this smells awesome. And I did sneak a little piece of it, so it is really good. I'm going to talk to you later. God bless. And we're just going to cut up the limes into some wedges. If somebody wants lime on their barbacoa, I've been waiting for this all day because it smells so good. No, I've never been a bartender, but I know how to cut a lime. <laughs> <laughs> I know, oh, I gotta cut one. Oh. I did snitch a piece of this before I came over here. Just so everybody knows, but oh, it smells so good. And we'll put a little onion on it. And this is pretty rare for me because I really don't care for onion that well. And a little bit of cilantro. And 
and a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice, <laughs> lemon juice, lemon lime. It's all citrus. And just a little bit of my homemade salsa on there. And we're going to go give this a, a chow down. Okay, this is the first time I've ever had barbacoa. We're going to give it a try here. I already know the meat's going to be good because I already tasted it, but we're going to give it a try. Mm. It's so nice and juicy and moist. The salsa adds just a little bit of heat to it. Onions add some good flavor to it. Cilantro adds that little bit of uh, zest. I'm going to rate it a good 9 out of 10. I love it. I'll definitely be making this again. Mm. Hey everybody, Dawn's gonna try the barbacoa and she's gonna let me know what she thinks of it. Uh. <laughs> mm, that's good. Tender. It's really tender, tender, really tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everybody, good. Tristan liked it. That's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, Chris is still outside talking, so he'll. Tristan will have to that tell me good. what he thinks of it, and that's really good. But yeah, everybody seems to like it. Uh, Highly recommend. So we'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, just got back home from the post office. Just went up there to mail that letter. I uh, had a package in the mail today from my younger brother out there in Missouri. He said he was sending me a package. Uh, I kind of know what some of the stuff is, but not all of it. So we're going to open it up and we'll take you along and we'll see what's in it together. Okay, I got the package opened up and looks like there's some pot holders in here. Uh, I think he wants to have me give some of this stuff away in the live videos. Uh, he sent me some hats. There's a United States Marine Corps, U.S. Coast Guard, United States Space Force, United States Army, United States Air Force, and the Navy. And... I got a special special thing I'm going to be doing with them in the live. Uh, here's some more pot holders. Uh, it's like there's a t-shirt here. Hollowson. Uh, some ink pens. I believe them are probably from Glock. I'll check that out in a little bit. Uh, not sure I got to open them up to look at it. I got some uh, neck straps. I uh, forget what they're actually called, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, some Glock magnets. Uh, decals, Henry Firearms decals. So yeah, this is pretty neat. Some U.S. flag decals. Uh, a Glock pouch, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be giving a lot of this stuff away on the live videos. Uh, so, a week from yesterday, 
will be the next live. So, yeah, spread the word that uh, I'm going to be giving some nice stuff away. Uh, and, yeah, we... We usually have a pretty good live. I'm, I of course I'm not going to give all this away at one time, but uh, I'll pick something out of there that will be cool to give away. And I got a special thing I want to do with the hats, and uh, that'll happen out actually on the live also. So yeah, spread the word. Uh, next Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Join in on the live. Uh, I We usually have a lot of fun with it, so I hope you guys can, can join me with that. And Tristan will be the moderator and cameraman again. And uh, we'll uh, get that all up and running. So God bless you guys. We'll talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Uh, I just got home, watered the garden. Uh, just going to get my video uploaded here. Uh, everybody liked the barbacoa. It was a big hit. So thank you, Delia, for the suggestion. I'll definitely be making that again in the future. I really enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, share, comment. Uh, subscribe. Tell all your friends. And reminder that uh, next Tuesday will be our live at 6.30 p.m. Central. I'll just remind everybody every day of it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to keep this short and sweet tonight. Uh, got a pretty good video coming out, I believe. So thank you again. God bless you guys. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated. Make this world a special place. God bless you. I love you. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.